Hello everybody, I'm Sammy from Microbad.net and today I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine to hack Android games. As always, you can find the APK for this, the Cheat Engine APK, at the link in description below this video. Alright, so this is Cheat Engine for Android. Essentially what this is, is a memory editor, which means it's going to scan for values in any game that you might, might want to hack, like Subway Surf for example. And it will then allow you to change those values, allowing you to give yourself points and so on, or money or health, whatever you want. Little stipulation, this only works for mobile devices, for actual phones, all right? I've tested it. It doesn't work on emulators just yet. However, that might change in 2018. All right, if you want to hack a game on emulator, use Cheat Engine, the actual PC program. I'm going to show that later, all right? All right, let's jump into Cheat Engine APK for now. The way you use this is essentially you need a rooted phone, okay? It doesn't work without root. I'm sorry. If you ha don't have a rooted phone, it, it won't work. You actually need a physical phone and it needs to be rooted, okay? So you launch Cheat Engine APK and you launch C server and connect locally. Remote system is if you want to, for some reason, hack something on your computer with your phone. I don't know why you would do that. Okay, it will launch its server and it allow you to attach it to any game that's running on your, on your um, phone. So basically you go to select process and then you find the game that you want to hack. So in my case that would be Subway Surf, all right? And since this doesn't work on emulators, I'm going to have to show you footage that I've recorded of this working, all right? So let's go. All right, after we've attached Cheat Engine to the game app, we check for the value that we want to hack. In this case, it's a score 32 at the moment. So we go into Cheat Engine, and under Scan Options, we just enter 32, and we scan for that value in the game memory. As you can see, Cheat Engine has come up with a scan results list of 37,000, so we need to narrow that down a bit to get the right value. So we go back into the game and we actually change that value. In this case, we do that by playing the game. In your case, maybe you need to take damage, spend money, whatever. Uh, just change that value, enter the new value in Scan Options again, and tap Next. And as you can see, we're left with six results. That's enough to actually hack the score in this case. So we're going to select all of those and we're going to add them to the address list here in Cheat Engine so that we can then change them from 56 to a lot more, right? So at the moment you have to select them all one by one, but in the future that will be patched. We go to the address list and now we change them all to basically 9999999, nine, 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 right? So that's basically all you do. You tab it, change the value, 9999. At the moment, again, you have to do this for every single one individually, but the app is getting developed quickly, and that won't be the case in the future. You'll be able to edit them um, multiple values at one time, right? Okay, so basically, once we change them all to whatever value we want, we have to just activate them at the left by checking the checkboxes for active and essentially after that you can go back in the game and the value should now be changed or hacked whatever you want to call it and there you go we're now getting a lot of achievements for not doing anything really <laughs> for just starting the game and hacking the value and we're now over a million or whatever 10 million or whatever number that is right so essentially, that's an easy way to get all the achievements and all the goodies. And we, now we just end, and as you will see, the high score actually applied. Yay! 1,083,000 high score. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So yeah, basically that's how you hack games using Cheat Engine on Android. It's pretty simple. It's the same as you would do with other apps except this one works for the newest Android operating system since it uses a little bit of another method than all the other memory editors. All right, and that's basically how you hack Android games using Cheat Engine on actual Android devices. Now, if you're using an emulator, guys, 
you are going to want to use Cheat Engine for PC, and that's what it kind of looks like, okay? This you can download at the link in the description as well. This is actual Cheat Engine for PC. Now, the way you use this, would you, or the way you would use this with an emulator, is essentially you start the emulator, you start the game on your emulator, and then you click the little PC icon right here, attach it to the emulator process, or one of the emulator processes, and then scan for the money value or whatever you have in here, all right? Now, my problem with this is I've tried and tried, and I have actually not been able to make this work with any emulator, guys, all right? I've, I've tried Nox, I've tried Bluestacks, I've tried a bunch of other ones, um, LeapDroid, I've, I've tried them and tried them. I read that it is actually possible, but guys, this is where I need some help from you guys, okay? Because there's people that know better how to hack PC programs than I do, all right? Definitely. I need you guys to tell me how to actually hack a game that's running on an emulator, because I have read once uh, on the Cheat Engine official forums that it actually worked at one point with certain emulators, but now it doesn't. So it's like, um, I know, it, I know it, it, it theoretically does work because obviously the game is being processed on your PC, right? On your emulator. But the, what happens with me is I isolate the one value, right? Or maybe it's three different ones. And then I change them and they go back to what they were. So this is one of those very few videos that I make where I'm actually asking for help a little bit because, guys, um, I know this must work somehow. It must work with some kind of emulator, but I've not been able to make it work. I've literally spent about three hours trying to make it work using different emulators, and it just has not worked, even though logically speaking, just from a from a you know logical point of view, it has to work somehow, okay? And yeah, I just appreciate it if someone could help me out with this because I really want to make this work because it must work somehow. <laughs> Anyways, until then, you guys are probably stuck with the Android version of Cheat Engine. It's still being developed. It's still getting better. Uh, month by month as far as I can tell and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with this one And I hope it will work for emulators in the future right now. It doesn't right now You have to use it on an actual tablet or an actual phone All right. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later